I'm doing now, I'm recording my screen, I'm using Camtasia Studio 8, this is the full premium version, and to save a little bit of time, I've already added all of the video clips, I have three video clips, I have my, my Vision Network intro, I've got my music that I usually use in the background of my videos, I always use the same songs, and then I've got the the photo or the image that I'm going to use uh, when I remove the chroma key. And I've already trimmed down some of the files to remove some of the stuff that didn't make the final cut for the video. Um, so this is the timeline where I, where I have the files dropped into. This uh, software is similar to Sony Vegas, except I find it a lot more simplified and easy to use. And what we have here is 5 minutes and 14 seconds a video. I'm going to go ahead and uh, and bring in the intro uh, before we go any further. So I've got to scoot these down. I'm going to drag and drop the intro. Scoot these back down. And then I'm, I'm going to add the music in after the video. I'm not going to uh, do that while while we edit this to try to save a little bit of time. I don't want the video to be really long, so um, let's move forward. Okay, so this is the part of the video where I'm going to uh, demonstrate how I use the chroma key feature. So uh, first, let me go ahead and drag and drop in the photograph image that I want to use. Let me line it up here. Now it's on top right now, it needs to be on the bottom. So I'm going to move these other files above it and then bring it back down. Alright, so now since my um, video is on top of the image that we want to show in the video, I'm going to need to remove the green screen. So I'm going to use the chroma key feature in Camtasia and it's under visual properties. I'll click that. Alright, so once we've clicked on visual properties, you see these uh, little buttons over here. One says remove color. So we're going to remove color. Let's reset that. Okay, so. I have, there's a color swatch here. If you click on color, it'll open up all these color swatches. I recommend using the color selector, which is a little eyedropper, because the computer sees the green screen in a, in a ton of different shades. The human eye is only going to see it as being green. But even here, if you look, you can see the lower left-hand corner is a little bit darker. And then you've got a little bit of shadowing up here in the upper right and the lower right. So I'm going to use the eyedropper. I'm going to remove the green in the most consistent green area that I can find. And now I've removed the green from the video. Now what we need to do is fine tune it a little bit. So I'm going to try to remove, you see the slider, how it makes me transparent, moves me in and out. We want all the green gone, I'm sliding that there. And you've got the softness also make me kind of disappear. I want that image to be hard, not soft, or not transparent. Then you got the hue, I can change my color a little bit. Usually it always has to be slid completely over to the left. And then defringe usually just gets the little shadows around the edges. And then <clears throat> I'm not going to use my image full size. So let's go ahead and lock this timeline down here for the Hollywood image so we don't mess with that. And then we've got this chosen here. We're going to make myself a little bit smaller. I think that ought to look good right there. And then we'll play it. Alright, so you guys, I don't know if you can hear my voice coming through the speakers. I didn't want that to play in the video, so... Um, that's basically how to look. Let me go to audio and turn my audio down here. 
just that way we can play it for a moment and you can see how I look. Now, granted this video is being shot with an older camera, it only shoots in 480p, um, and it looks a little laggy right now too in the screen because my computer um, is a piece of crap. <laughs> anyway, um, once we render this video, it'll be a lot more smooth, and this image is in 1080p in the background, so it'll look really nice. I'm going to render the video in 1080p. Um, I've loaded the the video clips into Camtasia as 720, although they're native 480. So uh, this should look pretty good when we're done. And the finished product will have a little music in the background. And it'll also have, oh, I need to put in, let's go ahead and put in the, um, the Vision Network uh, watermark. So let's drag and drop that puppy in here. And we will put it down in the lower left hand corner. Make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Watermark. There's me acting silly in the rest of the video. Alright guys, I'm going to end this now. I don't want the video to be too long because I know a lot of you are not going to want to sit through a 20 minute video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful and we will see you guys next time.